The 2023 Zwift Academy Tri Team is here. Thousands applied, and the final four have been chosen. All with one goal the World Championships, Kona, Hawaii. There are going to be over 2,000 women racing here in Kona. In one of the biggest one day sporting events in the world, in one of the most iconic locations. This is where dreams are made, but more than not, dreams are, are broken. It's absolutely insane sport. Just crossing another Ironman World Championship finish line on a day that's the first in history, being all women, is going to be something very special. There is something mystical about Kona. It's an island of two sides. You have the, the one side which has this black volcanic rock, this oppressive heat, this wind that you can only describe as brutal, as unforgiven, as always changing. Yet you can split the island and it's a tropical, beautiful paradise. Kona really is triathlon. You're swimming out there in this crystal clear water and riding and running where some of the greatest athletes have ever participated, and you're part of that. <laughs> First impressions of this place is absolutely incredible. And I was just a little bit blown away. I think in terms of creating an environment where you're going into a World Championships feeling as relaxed and as ready to perform as possible, this has absolutely got it nailed. With Swift setups, we're on a VE drive. It's not that far to Queen K if we wanted to go for a ride. It's, it's pretty bang on perfect. Oh, it's amazing. I didn't realise it was that close to the sea. Yeah, yeah. it's incredible. Maximum excitement day one, I think. Race week, Jana is excited, but also nervous. This will be my ninth Kona. I think the expectations are always to perform up to my potential and up to my training. So I know that if I do what I've done in training, I give myself a chance to do really well and hopefully uh, defend my title from last year. So the academy has provided me so much support. I wouldn't be there if I hadn't been part of the team this year. But they've helped me with travel and being in this amazing surrounding. It's a really special, a bit like a Swift family. There's even a chef, that's absolutely amazing. I've never had my own chef. <laughs> so I bake the fresh bread every day. Because it's every so day? Every day. Yeah. Tea yesterday. It's like already like a free quarter is gone. So yeah, pretty, pretty good one, yeah. I would say that race week, I'm actually quite chilled. I love to race, um, always have done. And I think because I've been doing so many different racing, so many different sports in so many different kind of forms over the years that I gen genuinely really enjoy it. First female only Ironman World Championships. It's definitely a different vibe. It's, it feels very open. And, in the pro race, there are some really exciting entries on the start list, which is building the hype for everyone. Race day at this point is pretty terrifying. So sun is up, properly up. The pros and the age groupers have gone. So you're kind of, you're waiting, you know it's your turn and you know you've got a big old day to come. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's definitely, feels very, very real. So I want to check if I'm shaving somewhere so I can like know where the spots I have to put Vaseline on so then on race day, I'm not like shaved. So that's why I'm, trying it out, see if everything fits. I think it's a mixture of excitement, like the nerves are like high, but then I think once you're in the water, it's just like gun goes off and you focus your swim. Just race week, having people around, pushes you to, I think, to give this a little bit more as well in the race, as well as for, for qualifying. When I uh, did the Ironman in Switzerland, what brings joy to me is like running at the end and I didn't have this joy because it was not racing for me, it was just trying to survive, get to the finish line. But at that time, I honestly, I don't know if I would be here. Now I think I just have like some smaller but harder sessions still coming up to keep the, the body sharp and ready for race day. going up uh, to Harvey today. The bike is amazing and climbs like an absolute dream. Of course, we arrived in Harvey and got a lot of compliments. It was really good again to back in the course. We had nice coffee at the top. 
I think I'm just that confident well, enough. And I want to injure myself now. You know, on the race day, I would go for it, but now I just like, I don't have the same confidence you guys have. This confidence up for her so I understand that she wants to, to get in and not ride the descent from Harvey because it is very gusty today. The thing with Kona is the weather always changes and I think Camille you know it's tough because I want her to experience it when it is tough because it could be tough on race day and just because I know she can do it she's a solid bike rider. I had to face a lot of adversity in the last months I had lots going on in my personal life and also um, I fell off my bike training uh, on the wet and I hurt my neck and my shoulder a little bit. So, so it hasn't been the ideal build. Even if maybe physically I'm not exactly where I want it to be fitness wise, but I think um, mentally I'm hoping that I can um, dig deep when I need to. And yeah, keep pushing up there and then it will help <laughs> the legs follow. Yeah, Instead of tighten you just relax and let your wind. Yana, she's, she's yeah. dialed and ready for this race, let me tell you that. I'm really excited to see her execute the best performance she can. Today, the fast bit was, it's about seven and a half kilometers or 10, depending on the Strava segment, um, and that hit 57 kilometer an hour average um, on that first bit. So it is fast and you add in the crosswinds um, and it can feel quite scary. But honestly, just staying relaxed uh, and confident in my bike handling ability, and this was quicker than I've ever done it before. Today was so much fun. I was also trying to do my race power, so it was a perfect prep um, of just like, going for it, leaning into the wind and the bike itself pretty much just if you let it and relax into it it turns into like a little bit of a sailboat. Um, it was 36.3 miles per hour average for eight minutes. We've gone up there 20 times and today was my fastest. I love it. It's my favorite. The descent was really nice. I actually it was a lot of fun. Probably most age group athletes, they know it. It's just discipline. You, you get up early in the morning, do your first um, session often before the sun is up, and um, you go to work. You really plan your entire day, and in the evening there's a second session, and you do that day for day. For me, for that 2019 Kona, the Zwift Academy was a massive part in me being able to like tick off that race and win it and then like, take the next step to go pro. Zwift has helped massively for the World Champs, so we've had a pretty awful win win winter. It's felt like winter, summer in the UK. You have a hard day at work, you just get on, the workout's there. It tells you what to do and you get on with it, and it makes a massive difference to, to me and how I balance work and training. I'm almost level 50 now, so I actually kept that for the race week because I know we're going to do some indoor sessions and maybe just before uh, the race I might uh, level up to 50. It would be very different for me because I use Swift a lot actually because with the children it means I can train whilst they're at home. Taking something very complicated and making it very simple because it's a, a very measured metric and you know we love our data. You know everyone's training to power, to heart rate, they're looking at their core temperature and when you're on Zwift you can simulate a hot climate you know in your pain cave or in your utility room or in your kitchen and I guarantee if everyone walked into transition 99.9% .9 of them are all Zwifters and I think that's a testament to a, to a product that, is, that was needed and that was embraced and it's always developing. And you can take a coffee break if you need also. I mean, who doesn't like coffee on a bike ride? So how's the chef? Who? The chef, Michael. Who is Michael? What is the Michael cooking tonight? Ah, chicken chili con carne. <laughs> Last checks of the bike. We're going to Lava Java to get our nails done with Canyon, which is awesome. Uh, I'm really excited because I love to paint my nails before a race, but I am terrible at doing it and they always chip. So now I've got someone else to do it for me. Getting in Aloha Square. Now we do have to do a top coat. Oh, a, top coat. a top coat. There we go. We got one. <laughs> it says fearless. Because I gotta be fearless on race day. That's my that's my word. Welcome to the Canyon House. It's a pleasure having you guys. 
Being on this journey for 2023. Oh, it's being serviced. It's very exciting. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Just seeing the guys doing the work on the bike, getting them ready for a race day. Having these two pro mechanics working on them, that's just amazing. So, I mean, I don't have an excuse. If something is not working race day, can't be the bikes. Mm. Just gonna be on me. <laughs> what is it gonna be? Hello, they night. Trying to be actually as relaxed as possible, not to worry too much. I've done everything to be fit and healthy. I think now you just have to put a good race on. I'm feeling good today actually. I think I've been so busy with other things that I haven't really worried about the race too much. So uh, I had a nice chat with PH and we went through my race plan. And I've also got a little bundle with a few of some salt tablets, a lot of them, because I need a lot of salt. I faced a bit of adversity in the months leading up to this race. So actually for me this race, it means quite a lot. And uh, I'm, tomorrow my aim is to try and find strength and adversity. Champions, they look at challenges and obstacles and they just face them head on and they become stronger for them. And so I'm really hoping that um, I can give it another shot and then I can find a way to make the most of the fitness I have right now. And uh, if I don't have the physical fitness, work with my mind and get that to get me through, uh, through the race. Yeah, Craig. This is wrong. Oh, oh, this is Step One Arrange Group in Finland. So, yeah. welcome to Finland. Yeah, congrats. Uh, thank you. Step One Three. Now, it's good. It's nice to come in with good form then. Yeah, definitely. This means a lot. I think, especially not having finished last year and all of the emotions that came with that. I'm just so excited to get back out there, take that one step further in the energy lab that I did last year, and get across that finish line surrounded by people that I've just had the most amazing time with over the last kind of 10 days so it feels very very special this year and now it's just sit watch the sunset and get ready for the big dance tomorrow I don't like the night before the race <laughs> I just want to start the race and just do it a lot of work goes into it so yeah it means a lot yeah just go for it be fearless and that's what I'm going to do tomorrow because you'll never know if this race is going to be here in two years or what I am going to be doing in two years. So yeah, it's go time. <laughs> What's really special about triathlon is that it's been a sport where female athletes have really been celebrated from the start. We get to have our own day. We get to have our own Kona experience. Just crossing another Ironman World Championship finish line on a day that's the first in history being all women is going to be something very special. The big dance. Keep your hands on the Here we go. The first athlete. I just love the process and I love the journey that every race takes you on. You're standing on that start line and you have no idea what's to come. I'm really happy, 52.37, that'll be a good Good little gap now, just over a good transition onto the bike. It's not just 12 months of hard work, it's the 24 months since I've qualified for the first time. Proof to myself and only to myself, because I never need to prove anything to anyone else, that I can do this and I do deserve to be here. And yes, Hawaii took something from me last year, but I will have taken it back. Let's go, Yana! Yana looks good. In the mission. Again, whether you're winning or losing, like the mind plays a massive, massive part in how you overcome those moments or how you don't. And I think you learn a little bit about yourself. And I think that's why I keep coming back. I, I can still feel that fire inside of me. This year has been bumpy, so a lot of things that I didn't expect, and which was hard to get over, and so I'm really happy just to be here, and I think when I cross the finish line, then oh, I think the emotions will come, definitely. Yeah, Camille said uh, I swam a 1.13, and I think her best here was a 1.16, so yeah, it's so another good start. Yeah, That's it! Keep it rolling, you're looking good, great! 
For me, a best rate is if I give everything I can, if everything lines up and I feel I couldn't do any better and I don't have any regret regrets when I cross the finish line. The, the hardest part for me is always the back end of the bike. You just start to lose a little bit of focus. You've been, you know, been staring at the tarmac for quite a long time. You know you've still got a marathon to come. She killed the bike. She completely, I hope she stayed within her plan because she is the fastest she ever ridden here. So, must be the bike and the team. You know, I think um, Yana looked great. She's always got that smile. She was working hard, moving nicely. Steph's having a tough one. The heat's really got to her. We love you, Steph. So she's really hot, <laughs> but she's doing it with a smile and she's going to finish. But she's moving and she's got her heart rate down and she's picked it up and we've just seen Liv go past. Really good. Uh, on the bike course, uh, she had uh, something in, your, in your, her eye. Amazing, amazing. And now uh, on the run course, I think uh, she can run 3, 10, perhaps. <laughs> When you run down that finish line and they shout your name, you truly know you have earned that medal around your neck. Representing the Czech Republic, Jana Richtova. Yeah, part of the Swiss Academy. Jana Richtova. You are an Iron Man. Yeah, you did it. I can't believe it. Again. Yeah. We did it again. And like the fastest time ever. Three freaking times in a row. <laughs> it's like I want to cry, but I can't. <laughs> Is she happy? She's good? I think she's a top 10 age group of all. My sister, she's coming and I'm really excited about that. She's flying in from Tokyo. So just um, for the race and then she's flying back. That's especially in the last kilometers uh, on the marathon when it gets hard. I just remember that actually I'm racing back to the finish line where my sister is. Something got in my eye after the swim, so the entire bike ride I had to um, ride with one eye closed. I could barely, I, I couldn't see anything when I was riding, I just had this eye open. Did it's I make like the top 10 or not? Uh, not top 10, top 9. <laughs> 30k in when it's really, really starting to hurt, it's like, okay, you're on your way back and you're on your way back to seeing that, which will be really, really exciting. Oh, no big headache here. Oh, Steph. Are they good or bad tears, Steph? Um, good tears. After last year, I gave that a lot. I was really suffering with the heat and I was so worried it was going to be the same thing again. But I fought really hard, so quite overwhelmed. <laughs> We're very proud of you, Steph. <laughs> Thank you. It's just relief, yeah. Close the chapter, so she'll be happy. When things get tough, think a lot about my children and to be proud of me because I love them so much. <laughs> They've always been my motivation. I think maybe I want to show them that with a bit of, you know, will and dedication you can accomplish anything. I'm just really pleased to have finished at this stage because I was really, really struggling on the run. I had a really tough day and I was doubting whether I would make it to the finish. Oh my God, it's been an amazing year from the very first time we all met in uh, Austria and then Germany and then reuniting here again. It's like I have a whole new family. Racing with just the women was so much fun. Honestly, I was even thinking if I might take a break next year, but now I think I fell in love with triathlon again. So doing this World Champ, I've learned to never give up. 
the experience that this has been and the friendships that we've created meant that this trip was always so much more than the day yesterday. And But seeing everyone out on the course and the other women racing and having high fives and cheers and shouting for them when their days were going brilliantly and yeah. supporting Camille when hers was turning out a bit like mine was really, really special.